Hello everybody, um, today, this is like almost revolutionary, it's so awesome. Um, for the longest time, you've wanted to use Elder Scrolls Online with DirectX 11, and you wanted SweetFX, but in order to do that, you'd either have to make Elder Scrolls Online run on DirectX 9, which you would sacrifice some graphical fidelity, or you'd have to use a program called Radeon Pro to get it working. It Honestly, it, it was just a mess, and I hated how it worked before. This was discovered on um, the, uh, pr the um, SweetFX preset website on how to actually get <clears throat> SweetFX and Reshade to work with Elder Scrolls Online without having to change Elder Scrolls Online to DirectX 9, or use Radeon Pro. This should work without anything extra. It a, a warning now, it will require some editing of uh reshade and sweet effects files to get it working. And it's gonna it might take a few minutes, but it'll be worth it if you're a stickler for graphics. Now the first thing you want to do is you're gonna want to go to reshade.me this website has, you scroll to the very bottom, <clears throat> or click download, it'll take you down here. This website has Reshade plus SweetFX 2.0. This is what you want to download, so you're going to click that and you're going to download it. Open your downloads folder or wherever you saved it to, and extract it. Okay, this is the first thing we're going to do. Um, I like to keep everything as clean as possible. So you don't need these three files, EULA, README, and Reshade setup. You don't need those. You do not need Reshade64.dll because Elder Scrolls Online is a 32-bit game. You can delete that. Now, we need to rename, just so I remember, <clears throat> we need to rename Reshade32.dll to DXGI.dll. Now it's very important you have extension file extensions turned on so you know what you're actually looking at. <clears throat> so that's the first step. You it looks good right now. The second step we have to do. Open up sweet.fx. Open it with Notepad, whatever you use to edit files. <clears throat> now the first thing you're going to notice is now th there this there's three instances of this in this file. It's going to say sweetfx slash shaders slash whatever dot h. Now, let's do a search. Find anything that is dot h. Okay. Shader, now it says sweetfx shaders globals dot h. You're going to want to change that dot h to dot, sh uh, oops, uh, dot shader. Find the next one. Main dot shader. Next one, greeting dot shader. Okay, so it found all of the dot H's and changed them to dot shaders. So you're changing the file extensions in suite dot FX. You're going to save it <clears throat> and you're going to close it. Um, this next one is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Go into your suite FX folder, go into your shaders folder, and th this part is kind of aggravating. You have all your extension, your file extensions turned on, so everything is going to be labeled .h. You need to relabel every file to .shader. Every single file. Now there's 40 files. The only one you do not touch is smaa.hlsl. Do not touch this one. Label everything else dot shader. Okay? Now, I already did this beforehand. Now, you have now, okay, fast forward to the future. You have everything labeled dot shader. We're almost done, but not quite. Almost done. Everything's labeled dot shader. And actually, let me bring up this one just to. Okay. Everything is labeled dot shader, and then you're going to want to open up main dot shader. Open this file up. 
in this file, it's the same thing. You're going to see a lot of file extensions named print.h, sweetcr. Everything's going to be .h in this. <clears throat> Everything is .h. .h. HDR.h. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do replace. Find what? Um, .h. Replace with dot shader. Click match case, and then click. If you want to see it, do it your do it itself. You can do one at a time. Replace. See, it's replace. Or you can just do replace all. Boom. Um, one once in a while, a certain one gets changed that shouldn't. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, this one right here. SweetFX dot slash shaders SMAA. It changed that. It shouldn't have changed that. That has to be dot HLSL. Everything else has to be dot shader. This is the one you have to make sure. If this isn't dot HLSL, you'll get an error and suite effects will not work. So everything else is dot shader. This file is also the correct file extension. Um, and as I said, I have I have this already done right here. And we're gonna go to E program Files 86, Zenimax Online, Elder Scrolls Online folder, the Game folder, and then the Client folder. This is where ESO.exe is located, and this is where you have to place these files. So we're going to select everything, and drop it in there, and let us launch the game. Now when the game launches, you should see text in the top left and in the middle of the screen. It'll go away. It just basically lets you know that everything is working. Reshade, uh, compiling effect succeeded. Everything's on. Now to test if it's working, scroll lock. Sweet effects disabled in the top left. Enabled, disabled, enabled. I'm not going to log into the game and go through a comparison because um, as of right now, the only SweetFX 2.0 preset is, um, I, th I believe it's Secta's preset on uh, the SweetFX um, website, which I'll provide a link for everything down below. But, um, yeah, and it works fine. I did, And Elder Scrolls Online is still running in DirectX 11. This is on Windows 8.1. And I'm not using Radeon Pro, and it's SweetFX 2.0 and Reshade. Works beautifully. <clears throat> but just a quick overview. Um, let me get back up there. Quick overview. Make sure in the Sweet.fx one, you change these to dot .shader. There should be three instances of this that you have to change to dot .shader in Sweet.fx. Make sure you relabel the um, the one reshade file dxgi.dll in your shaders folder. Make sure you rename all of these to dot shader except for smaa. Leave that the way it is. When now edit main dot shader, change everything to dot shader except for smaa.hlsl. Do not edit that one. It's a little editing to get all this to work, but once it works, it works perfect. Um, this was awesome. I'm so happy that this was actually discovered and I don't have to mess around with DirectX 9 or Radeon Pro or anything. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so if anyone has any questions, please ask them down below and um, enjoy.